Hello, welcome, and thanks for joining us for the latest news and the latest updates wherever you are. And where you're tuning in from, we are very grateful. But kindly, don't forget to subscribe and turn the notification button for more of these updates. National Unit Platform Secretary General to be elected very soon as East African Legislative Assembly Representative. Once again, thanks for joining us live on Progen Media TV, but let's take more look into some of these details. With the election of the Speaker of Parliament last month, the unveiling of the Cabinet and the subsequent inauguration of the Ministers on 21st of June, the political season appears to be finished, but for one significant event, which is the East African Legislative Assembly, and members of Parliament are scheduled to meet soon, to elect delegates of the East African Legislative Assembly. On the support of Bobby Wine's political party, the National Unit Platform Secretary General David Louis Rubongoya is one of the candidates projected to stand forward for the big cash representative post. Uganda has nine seats in the Arusha-based parliament, six of which will be filled by the ruling National Resistance Movement, which is the NRM, and which enjoys a numerical advantage in the national legislature. Two of the seats will be taken by the opposition, with the remaining one designated for independence. National resistance movement has always had the last say on who goes to East African Legislative Assembly, whether from the government or the opposition, because it is the most powerful group in parliament. This is due to the fact that elections are held on a one-man-one -one vote basis. Rubongoya informed a local media outlet last year that he was considering a run for political office in the near future, an admission that led commentators to think East African Legislative Assembly was his objective. If this turns out to be the case, internal national unit platform resistance would be extremely improbable. The only remaining stumbling block would be in the parliament. According to rumors, Museven, a longtime supporter of Rubongoya, has already decided to support him for one of the two opposition seats in Arusha. And according to reports, this is an expression of President Museven's gratitude for the Secretary General's calm demeanor, a quality that is widely credited with saving the country from a post election crisis similar to that which occurred in Kenya in 2007. That is what is going on with the East African Legislative Assembly representatives, and it is said that six ministers are to be selected from the ruling party, which is NRM, and two are from the opposition, uh, opposition party, then one should be from the independent. Uh, so, according to rumors, that Museven is planning to support the former NRM minister by the names of Louis Rubongoya, who left the NRM and later joined, who left the NRM in 2017 and later joined National Unit Platform. And he is planning to go, not him, but his excellence is planning to support him to join, to get the Arusha bench of the East African Legislative Assembly. Uh, we still don't know how it's going to be, but well, that is it for now. Thanks for watching Progen Media TV. We'll keep on updating with more of this, but kindly do one thing, subscribe and turn the notification button all these updates will be coming to you direct in time.